Hello, my name is Michael and in this tutorial we're going to build a really cool drag and drop interaction um, in the context of sorting different trash items into the right type of container. Um, I just came up with this concept. Um, initially, I just wanted to create a tutorial on drag and drops and uh, how to create them in an in a interesting way, in a custom way, uh, and maybe even also how to use them um, to test people's knowledge. So you can replicate this in a lot of different projects. Uh, the same principles apply. And now um, let me show you how that looks like and how it works. And then we'll rebuild it together step by step. Okay, we're in. Um, now, let's see how that works. So, basically different, um, different trash items will appear one after another in the middle of the screen. And your job is to basically drag it and put it um, in the right type of container. So, in this case, we've got a watermelon. Uh, we'll put it in, put it in the organic uh, container kind of snaps to this um, rectangle then we've got a what is that a spray can of some sort it's probably metal got scissors this is also metal this looks like a plastic spoon so we'll put it here in plastic okay uh, so I'll just finish this real quick just to show you the end result And we're basically done. Now, when we click submit, it'll tell us, well done, you sorted every trash item into the right container. So at this point, you can either create a continue button and continue to the next slide, or you can just restart the course and start all over again. Now, what happens if you don't finish it? So for example, maybe I put this one here and this one here, and then I click submit. It'll tell me, oops, you didn't sort all the trash items. So you have to try it again. So, there are a few interesting techniques at play here. Um, so let's see how to rebuild this step by step. So the first step um, would be to find uh, a composition like this one. Um, I used uh, the free pick website and I uh, found this composition. So downloaded it and then I opened it in Illustrator. So let's see how that looks like. So this is how it initially uh, looked like. Uh, it didn't work. This particular uh, composition didn't work for, for my idea with the drag and drop interaction. So I kind of moved it around, but um, this is what I got. And then um, basically every single item you see here is on a different layer. And what I did is um, you've got this thing called asset export in Illustrator. So basically if you just Take this, drop it here, and call it whatever you want, in this case, paper. You can then go ahead and export it. And it will export it as a PNG uh, and as a standalone um, item or picture. So if you look at my asset folder, you can see we've got all the items here exported as um, individual assets, uh, they're all PNG files. So basically what I did is um, I created a project in Storyline and then imported all of them as pictures. So this is the first step. Um, you have to download or design your assets, export them as individual files, as PNGs, and then import them into storyline. Um, that's our first step. Now let's start rebuilding this step by step. So I'll just create a new slide, a new blank slide. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to import all of these pictures now. So let me just grab them like this. So, um, now, actually, I'm, first I'm going to import the 
the trash cans or, or the, the trash containers okay. and the shadow. Okay. Now it important them put them all in the middle. It's kind of annoying, but it doesn't matter. So now I'm just gonna select all of them. And I'm gonna resize them. I'm gonna make them 300 pixels tall. Okay, well, without the shadow. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna make them 300 pixels tall. And then, oops, click the space button by accident. Um, and next, let me just see what was the what was the right order. So we've got red, orange, yellow. Now let me. I'm gonna put the shadow here on the bottom, and now I'm going to distribute them horizontally. I'm going to group them together by by clicking uh, by holding con control and G and now I'm going to center them in the right and then I'll take the shadow and um, make it 1500 pixels wide which seems about right put it right underneath the wheels Um, okay, this one doesn't seem to be aligned properly. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, let me just and then one more time. Okay, so you can see they are not aligned perfectly, and this is because one of them was slightly lower than the rest of them and it basically aligned it to the lowest positioned object so it's fine um, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna manually um, align them here because i don't want to waste too much time um, but yeah just for future reference this is how it works basically okay so this looks um about right Sorry, I'm a maniac. Just wanna make sure they're all uh, properly distributed. Okay, so we've got the containers here. Now the problem is if we just drag and drop items um, into these containers, it, it will not look great, at least visually speaking. So um, I prefer to create rectangles and put them underneath and actually drag and drop the items there uh, and use the containers just to serve uh, you know as a guide so let's do that now i'm going to insert um, a shape a rectangle i'm gonna make it this big or about this big um, i'm going to remove the fill i'm going to create an outline three pixels and then Add some dashes. Okay, this looks pretty good. Just move it up a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think this looks great. Okay, so we've got our cont our containers here. Um, we can actually group them together so we have you know, fewer layers, basically, because we're going to import like 30, 30 something pictures now. So uh, it can get really, really chaotic. Now, um, let's rename those rectangles. So we've got the e-waste container here. We've got the plastic. Um, what is that? Metal. And we've got glass, paper, and 
organic. Okay. So let's insert all the pictures now from the asset. By the way, I'm going to include the storyline file uh, as well as all of my assets underneath the video, um, probably in the description. So you can download it and follow along and um, or just recreate it by yourself. Okay, so let's pick all the items without um, the containers, obviously. Okay. Okay, we insert them. And now you can see they're basically a mess because <laughs> it inserts them all at the same place and it stacks them on top of each other. So what we have to do is we have to select all of them. You can see quite a lot. Okay, um, <clears throat> the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them all 100 pixels tall. And then I'm going to align them to center, align them to middle, and I'm going to move them right about here. Now, I know this looks very messy, like all of them on top of each other in the middle, but trust me, it doesn't look great now, but it will make a lot of sense later. So now we have to create the the interaction and the way we do it is we go to the insert tab and we click on convert to free form then we select the drag and drop option and now we can basically create um, an exercise for people uh, by selecting custom objects on the screen not some not not a, a pre-created quiz of some sort so we've got the drag item so maybe in that case Maybe we start um, at the bottom. So let's say watermelon. The drag item is watermelon and the drop target for that would be the organic drop point or the rectangle. So I'm gonna match them all now. Um, I'll speed up the video just so we don't waste any time here. Okay, we are fi I'm finally done um, matching them, you know, the, the right item with the right container. So um, let's um, let's do a, a few other things here. So first off, shuffle. Let's select. Um, let's enable this to shuffle the answers. Um, by the way, if you see my ki cat behind me, um, don't freak out. She's super cute, but she likes to, you know, appear on camera. Um, so feedback by, by question, okay, attempts, um, now we're going to play with the drag and drop options and it will all make sense. Okay. So here's what we have to do here. We have to, um, enable this. So return item to start point. If dropped outside a correct drop, uh, drop target, review drag items one at a time. This is very crucial. That's why we stack them all together in the middle of the screen, uh, or actually, you know, the bottom part of the screen, but in the center, um, because uh, that won't be a problem because they will be they will be shown one at a time, so we won't, you won't see actually the rest of them. Um, and then snap dr uh, dropped items to drop target. Let's say, um, you know. Uh, stack offset. Allow only one item in each uh, drop target. We do not enable this because um, we've got more than one. And yeah, that's fine for the feedback. So let's preview this. Okay, so here we are in preview mode. Now let's see if this work. If this works as intended. So we've got the watermelon. We'll put it in, orga in the organic category. Spray can.
and that's pretty much it now obviously we're missing the we have to create a submit submit button and then create the feedback slide so let's first um fix the electric kettle um so yeah it's to be on e waste all right so now um I'll just copy the button from here just to save some time you can see it's a very simple button it's a rectangle with text inside and then submit drag and drop interaction when the user clicks rectangle one now let's work on the feedback slides so if you've got the correct one let's say well done um, Sorry, I forgot the text here. You sorted every trash, uh, every trash item to the right container. Okay. Um, and then, so basically, you can have uh, you can have the the continue button here and just continue to the next slide. Or, in our case, I'll just create a restart button, and um, we'll just restart the course because we don't have another slide so let's select restart course when the user clicks restart perfect and now the incorrect let's just say oops and um, you didn't sort all the trash items We'll turn it into a restart button again. Make sure we rename it. All right, I think that's it. Let's uh, let's test it one more time. Make sure everything works correctly. Okay, submit. Well done. You sorted every trash item to the right container. You click restart. It didn't restart for whatever reason. It's supposed to restart, but anyway. Um, one last thing I would change is yeah, probably the the color of these. I don't I don't like them in blue. I'll just make them black. Okay, and let's test one one last thing. So if someone doesn't put all the, uh, all the items in a category, it should give them the give them the incorrect feedback. I don't know why. Okay, now it's just all messed up. <laughs> of course it will happen when I'm recording the tutorial. But anyway, um, this was it. Um, I really hope you found it valuable. Uh, like I said, I will include all the resources in the description so you can download them and follow along um, or just you know rebuild it on your own. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I am posting tutorials weekly um, on Storyline. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I'll include a link below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.